Hello my fellow Smexy gamers, I have lots of exciting things to go over in this video and it's been a long time coming. I am sure the title of this video likely has sold me out already but I have indeed opened up channel memberships for this channel and I'm also long overdue for just a general channel update. I want to discuss the direction of this channel, where it's going and just connect with my community frankly. So. Let's discuss the membership stuff first and why I'm even choosing to do this in the first place. As most of you know, I'm not a fan of rage baiting for clicks, I never do it, and I prefer to talk about topics and games I actually care about, instead of chasing the algorithm. This doesn't pay well, <laughs> as you can imagine, to no one's surprise, I am sure, but this is where you come in. If my income is not completely dependent on YouTube ads, that means I can focus on creating my fun videos for you all. From this point, I started to think, what would be the best option for you? I know all about Patreon, but I wanted something that connects directly to YouTube and makes this little club of ours a bit more fun. When I looked into YouTube memberships, I liked what I saw. I think it's really cool that members get a unique badge beside their name when they comment. I also think it's great I can create special emojis just for you guys. You know, it's a fun, colourful way for you to stand out and lets me give something back. That's why it's memberships and not Patreon. Also, we can do members only polls and videos whenever I like. Now, I'm a man of my word and you all know I like to keep things traditional in my video games. Microtransactions and paywalls suck. So, I want my regular viewers who are not members to know you will not miss out on future videos of mine. That's not cool to punish those who can't afford to buy me a coffee once a month. The membership is a fun way to support me because you appreciate my honesty and respect the fact I put games first and politics dead last. I'm an old fashioned gamer in the best kind of way and I love doing what I do. Perks will also be the same across all three tiers. When I have time to give extra content or fun with my members, I want everyone to have access to it. Obviously, I'm extra grateful to anyone who does choose the higher options, as every dollar does go a long way towards making this a full-time job someday, but please choose within your comfort. So very quickly, here are the emojis you currently will get access to immediately after joining. Choosing game related ones made sense to me and currently this is the limit YouTube allows. As I get more members, the system will let me add more and I certainly will. Feel free to comment below any ideas for future emoji by the way that you would like and I'll keep that in mind. Also the badges I absolutely love. You will start with Baby Mario and Yoshi for the, from the moment you join. It will appear beside your name and that's really cool. I'm a bit jealous I can't have that myself to be honest. What is interesting is there are milestones. So after a month, you will get the Mario 64 badge. After 2 months, 6 months, 12 months, the badges will upgrade and of course I will make sure those are available and waiting. Call me simple. I like the extra colour and fun these small things can bring to our conversations. Okay, that's the membership part done. If you clicked on the join button and joined up, please comment below so I can see your shiny new badge and how the emojis look. Now let's proceed with the channel update, no longer discussing the memberships. So I've been wanting to do a channel update ever since we finally cracked the 5000 subscriber mark and somehow we have blasted right through that and are already more than 6000. Oh my goodness you smexy gamers rock. Thank you to all the new subscribers for joining my little club and of course thank you to all my pre-existing subscribers who have been chatting with me for years up until this point already. I always get excited when I see those familiar names pop up in the comments section I have not forgotten any of you. I also would like to address the fact I have stopped putting my face in my videos. This was not done on purpose and simply the result of me becoming unwell if I'm to be completely honest. I was sick for ages and looked like a bit of a ghost, so I figured for that time period I would just do voiceover. Well, I've grown to like it and as far as channel growth goes, the results really do speak for themselves. My views have dramatically improved but it's more than that. I enjoy making the scripts beforehand because I can make sure I don't forget to say things. 
all the important points are there, I can control the flow much better, and editing is a bit easier as well. As you all know in the comments section, I'm still just as bubbly and interactive as always, so even if you're not seeing me personally, we will still have our many fantastic chats in the comments section below. The next part I wanted to address was the direction I'm taking the channel and the phrase specifically escapism and not activism that I include in almost all of my videos now while asking you to subscribe. From a distance, it may look like a red flag that this is going to become a rage channel or very political driven, but that could not be further from the truth. Those who follow social politics online as far as gaming is concerned know full well that if I wanted to milk it, I could easily do a video covering these things every single day. My views and subscribers would blow up easily as well and I'd get all that YouTube success. However, currently, you're lucky to get a serious video like that even once a month from me. This is by design. As I always say, I don't farm rage clicks. If I speak about something that is serious in nature or how I covered the controversy around Ghost of Tsushima 2, it's because I care and I felt motivated enough to do so. The core to action subscribe today to empower voices like mine who believe video games are about escapism and not activism, that line is super important to me due to what it does. It's a proven very powerful tool. Firstly, because YouTube honestly sucks sometimes, most of my views come from new viewers. YouTube doesn't see the value of promoting content to your existing fan base. This means that many people have never heard or seen me before. So when they come across my content for the first time, when I say that line, escapism, it lets newcomers immediately know where my values lie and what sort of content they can expect. I've always connected with my fellow gamers. My friend groups are literally the results of me tracking down every nerd I could find in high school. I can get along with anyone if we are just discussing games and I think that's actually a really beautiful thing. The other side of the coin, and this is also very helpful, is that it triggers some people. Now. I'm not saying I enjoy upsetting others who disagree from me. Far from it. I have heaps of subscribers who have different opinions to me, but we can still talk to each other like grown-ups and get along. Anyone who gets triggered so much that they immediately leave the video and not before leaving an angry comment or stating they will now not subscribe is someone I don't want as part of my community. Not because they dare think differently to me, but because of the entitlement and anger they bring. Why must we agree on everything? Why can I now see them attacking other commenters? It also means that at some point in the future, they will unsubscribe anyway, since it's so easy for them to get upset. So the line attracts gamers who are capable of having adult conversations, while also at the same time filtering out those who want to talk at me instead of with me. Awesome, that actually sounds good to me. As for my content, it will remain the same. I have no niche. I love my retrospectives and reviewing old PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games. So I will continue to do that. I love my survival horror games. The Evil Within 1 video is doing great, and I've already restarted playing The Evil Within 2, so expect a video on that at some point. I will continue to also do my comparison videos, like I did with Soul Reaver, with Croc, with Jedi Power Battles, and the newly announced Tomb Raider remasters. I will continue to do random deep dive videos as well, where I have some serious stuff to discuss, and more importantly, I will stay true to myself and talk about what excites me. I can't limit myself to just one area because the YouTube algorithm likes it. I'm a gamer, darn it. We like more than one type of game. That's why I've opened up memberships on gaming my whole life, so I can just focus on fun games and bring it out quality content for you all. Plus, you can cancel the membership at any time anyway. Apologies if I have missed out anyone in the comments section. While I reply to literally 99% of everything I get, I have been getting thousands of comments across the channel lately, and even though I literally dedicate hours of my time responding, some are sure to fall in the cracks anyway. Maybe that's why YouTube added those badges. It helps people stand out. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Channel updates are pretty rare, so I wanted to fill this up with as much as possible. Remember, it's totally cool if you can't become a member. But if you can, obviously, I'm so darn grateful and it means more than I could possibly tell you. Thanks for watching, God bless you all, and I'll see you for the next random fun video that I produce.